hello I wanted to do a quick video um, to show you um, how these bulbs uh, did in the garden and how they look in comparison to the photo stock that was on the packages most of these I purchased in Walmart I do have a haul video I did earlier in the year and so I did take some clips throughout the season of how some of these performed. Some of these in some cases never came up and that's more of a user error from my, uh, my end. And um, few of them had only leaves and I'll review that at the end as well as the ones that I never got to emerge. But again, my error probably. So here is the Lily Centerfold, and I got a, a good success with this one. Um, you know, they came up and looked quite pretty. Um, I, I think most of these actually um, came in. And here it is next to the photo. Um, so it looks more speckled in real life than it does in the photo. The photo gives it these um, stripes and that's not really what I got but they were quite pretty still. So here is the Lily Salmon Star and I loved this one. It looks beautiful and next to the picture, I mean that looks like the picture to me. Um, unfortunately, these were very short. They came up very short. They did flower, one or two flowers. Um, and I think that if I find these again, I will um, try them once more and hopefully I will have better success next time. I also think I need to put them in more sun um, than what they were getting here. So these are the Gladiolus Pastel Mix and these did well they all came up pretty much um, but one flower stalk per and that was it um, but they were quite beautiful i love them um, and in comparison to the photo they look pretty much the same um, i got just about every color um, from the pink and yellow and the dark pink and the peach um, I don't have um, a comparison for each one, but um, they were quite beautiful and I would try these again. Again, I think I have to put them in more sun though. So here is the Dahlia Pacific Ocean and this was such a beautiful little flower and it looks exactly like the photo. Um, and yeah this one performed pretty nicely very late in the summer and put out a ton of little blooms it was kind of covered up by the really large dahlia so it didn't get too much of a chance but i would do this one again and here is the dahlia zingaro gorgeous and my one and only bloom that got eaten by a deer the next day but look it does look like the packaging I love it. I want this one again. I will try for this one again if I find it beautiful. So here is the Dahlia Pen Hill Watermelon. And this one was pretty spectacular. These were the dinner plate Dahlias, one of, one of the two that I had, or three maybe. Um, and I think it does look close to the picture. Um, this was the earlier blooms that came out, one of the first ones. So they may not look as close to the picture, but as they um, got older and I got more and more blooms, I thought these looked exactly like the photo. This is the Dahlia Alva's Supreme, and this one flowered so much. I got a so many blooms out of this one and this one looks identical to the photo um, performed extremely well really loved this one um, dinner plate dahlia huge blooms perfect 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 flower here um, totally would recommend this one 
And here is the Dahlia Happet Blue Eyes. And this was my absolute favorite. Loved it so much. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the tubers performed really well. A lot of them actually came up. Um, along with the Penn Hill Watermelon, those, those were the really two good tubers. Um, and next to the photo, I mean, this looks identical to the photo. And yeah, I would totally do this one all over again. Love the um, petals and the little purple on it. Um, just gorgeous. I totally recommend this one. So here is the Begonia Double Blend. Um, this actually did not come out until I think it was September. Um, they do look like the picture from a color perspective, but they weren't um, like that rosette look from the photo. Now that could be because um, I had them growing and um, in an area that they just were leafing out but not blooming and it could have been just the heat as well um, and when it got cooler they definitely liked that and then they bloomed but still beautiful I would probably try these again so these are Caladium White Queen and in comparison to the photo um, I this particular one doesn't look as white and I didn't get as striking of a white um, I got the red veining um, and it did get more white when I pulled them into the shade more. Um, but I did find that these actually were more successful than I thought they would be. Um, out in the yard, I had, I guess, a little problem with maybe slugs or something eating them. But indoors, um, inside my, my porch, which is um, covered, I actually thought they weren't going to come up and I mean they flourished the entire time and well into you know low temperatures um, and they like I said they did get more white um, when I did put them in more shade um, but yeah they were pretty easy to to grow and keep um, they didn't need a whole lot of water um, they did really well. So these are the two hollyhock varieties that I purchased. Um, I believe what I got was the black one and one of these. No, don't don't know the color. Um, so it did uh, leaf out. These were bare roots um, that I purchased, and they didn't um, survive except for the two. Um, again, one black, one of the mixed type. And yeah, they, they got very big and leafed out and I did have rust with it, but um, next year we get to hopefully see the color. They survived the winter and we'll see how they did. And here are the two type of a still bee that I purchased. Um, I did get some leaves that came up. They, some of them were a surprise. One of them wasn't. And um, I'm actually, these were also bare roots that I purchased. Um, and uh, I think it was really my error here because I didn't give it enough water to keep them moist in the bag. So they dried up. And I think the ones that all came up were this Sunny Boy one because the leaves, just from the color, they're really um uh, this very bright green color and that's how the leaves look in my yard. I don't think I had any of these come up which was actually my favorite one this chocolate kiss and I will want to though try this again and purchase more next year but now I know uh, to maintain them and keep them moist. And last are the ones that never came up for me. So the first one is the Lily Stargazer. I did not see anything, you know, leaves or anything. Um, it could be the timing that I put them, uh, put them in the ground. I, I don't know. Um, again, uh, maybe because I let them dry out too much. Um, a, the iris, the Caesar's brother iris. Um, I'm wondering if this could show up in the spring um, because I did plant these, I think, early summer or late spring. So it's probably too late 
for this to have bloomed I don't know but never saw any leaves or anything um, and then the last one was this um, blue wonder um, I forgot the common name because I can't pronounce that um, t tiger lily I think it is um, also known as and um, yeah I was looking forward to this this is a very very small flower um, I think it's supposed to be almost like shrub like and the leaves came out um, and tried to grow in them but um, didn't really um, they they were being eaten by something so anyway so that's the end of this video. Um, thank you for joining me um, and watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.